It's a great day for optimal health. I get asked many times by health professionals about the most misunderstood and underutilized nutrients. Well, there are actually three nutrients that are critical for bone health, circulation, cardiovascular needs, and overall longevity. They don't get enough attention in the public, but they have amazing research and proof of their power. What are they? They're vitamin D, CoQ10, and vitamin K2. Let's talk about each one and the research behind them. The first is vitamin D. Vitamin D is the one out of the three nutrients that's actually getting some rightful amount of publicity, being called the nutrient of the decade by many scientists and researchers. Literally hundreds of studies over the past few years has established vitamin D's need. It is now commonly agreed that vitamin D transcends the definition of a mere vitamin. It is actually a pro-hormone and is essential to the health of almost every organ, including the brain, the heart, skin, prostate glands, and mammary glands. Vitamin D receptors are also involved in immune regulation and mediate responses from infections and inflammatory processes. The bad news with this type of vitamin like vitamin D, which has historically been thought to be sufficiently gained by sunlight exposure for 20 minutes a day, is actually now becoming deficient in spite of the sunlight. Average blood serum levels of vitamin D have dropped over the past decade to the point that according to a recent study, 77% of Americans have insufficient amounts, even in sunny places like here in Arizona. Obesity is one of the reasons for this increase because fat retains vitamin D, making it less bioavailable to the rest of the body. Other mounting evidence shows that vitamin D can support muscle strength and thereby reduce the incidence of falls, particularly in elderly and at-risk patients. Vitamin D related to various conditions are cardiovascular disease, where vitamin D deficiency is associated with an increased risk for cardiovascular problems like atherosclerosis, um, heart attacks. You know, it also helps, vitamin D does, with bone and muscle pain. Vitamin D deficiency can lead to weak muscles and bones. Symptoms of bone pain and muscle weaknesses can indicate inadequate vitamin D levels. Even cancer, there's one study, a Finnish study, uh, found that subjects with the lowest levels of vitamin D had a three-fold higher risk of developing pancreatic cancer. How about life expectancy? Possibly the most motivating reason to take higher dosages of vitamin D comes from a study showing that participants with the lowest vitamin D levels had a 44% higher death rate. That's crazy. Think about it and just the little vitamin, vitamin D. We know that it's important for pregnancy and that the recent uh, regulations show that there should be an increase up to 2,000 IUs a day for uh, women that are pregnant because of the beneficial effects. Well, according to leading researchers, it's recommended to take between 1 and 4,000 IUs a day. This is based on the latest research, which we know is much higher than the normal RDA. Some ask if they can overdose on vitamin D because it's fat soluble. The key to understanding this is that vitamin D in a synthetic form people can overdose on, but from a whole food form, they cannot. So make sure you get your vitamin D from a whole food form. That's the first nutrient. Now, look to part two. Have a great day.